Hi there. Um, today I'm going to talk to you guys about my experiences with HGA um, uh, and a couple orders that I have out with them. I'll talk about a little bit about the good things I like about HGA and a couple of the things that disappointed me about a couple of my orders. Um, I have a good um, experience and I have a bad experience. So I have a couple of orders. I'm going to talk about them right now. I try to make the video as concise as possible, but at the same time as detailed as possible to kind of go through uh, all of my little uh, nitpicky things about it and the things that I did like. Um, so just so you know, I have three orders out with HGA, um, two 10 days and 160. Uh, I have two 10 day orders back. I'm going to go through them in a little bit, but before I get into it, um, I'll just tell you the reason why I have chosen HGA for some of these slabs are... Um, I liked uh, the way they uh, sold the product, right? Um, I like the queue system. I like that they moderate and limit the amount of orders they take in every week. Um, I think that's a smart way to not get inundated with um, too many um, orders. And in theory, if you are if you are controlling the number of cards you get in then you should be able to provide a certain level of service for for um, you know your existing orders right so if you're if you're limiting it to seven thousand a month or seven thousand a week then you should be able to handle seven thousand as opposed to being stuck with a 12 million backlog right the other thing i like about hea obviously are the slabs themselves not only the you know customizable or the very colorful labels but just the sturdiness of the slab and, um, you know, really watching a lot of Tyler's videos and things, it, it really, like, kind of attracted me to it. Um, you know, the, the price was not too crazy. Um, the slabs looked great. It looked like they had all the right answers. So that's why I went with them. Um, I didn't mind waiting in the queue or missing it week, week out or week in or week out and eventually getting to the point where we got in. Um, so my first 10-day order. Um, I, I live on Guam, by the way, so I, I'm not going to put... I'm not going to really talk about how it took long to ship because, you know, the distance, you know, the time it takes from sending it to Guam to get to uh, Tennessee uh, or sending it from Tennessee to get back to Guam, all of that does not matter, right? All that matters is the time at um, uh, HGA itself. So that's going to be what I really focus on here. So my first order... Um, I sent it out April 5th. It arrived at uh, HGA on April 16th, but it wasn't checked in until April 23rd. So I had to follow up between the 16th and the 23rd a couple times to finally ensure that it would get checked in. And they did check in on April 23rd, and on the 23rd they told me that uh, I should expect the cards to be shipped out on May 6th because that would be 10 business days. So, you know, they. I did sign up for the $10 services, $55 a card. And I was like, cool. And, you know, I understand sometimes, you know, it's a new company. It's going to take time. So maybe maybe it wouldn't get back to me on the 6th. Maybe it'll ship out on the 12th or something. So I gave it an extra week, an extra five business days. On May 11th, I hadn't heard back. So I contacted them through Facebook to find out whether or not, you know, my order shipped. You know, there's no tracking number. I, I need some info. So from May 11th, they told me that, you know, sorry, Ken, unfortunately, your order did not ship, uh, but we're going to get it out tomorrow. So on the 12th, they told me that again. Said, Ken, you know what? Like, I don't know. We, I gave it to the, the, the shipping lady. She didn't give it out. We'll get it out to you tomorrow. So I got the same story four days in a row, the 11th, 12th, 13th, and the 14th. So these four days, they told me, you know, it was going to go out. Trust me, it'll go out today. I don't know what is going on. It's going to go out. The order actually did not ship out to the 18th. So my first order, it was started its process on the 23rd. It was supposed to ship out on the 6th. After, you know, daily contact, it didn't ship out till the 18th. So, you know, another 12 days later. Um... You know, and then I, I live on an island on Guam, so it actually took a couple, you know, it took like five more, six more days for it actually to come back on Guam. But, you know, we won't count that. I'm just counting the, the time while they had it in their possession to actually get here. So, you know, 
that 10 days actually turned out to be 20 days or whatever, which is kind of disappointing, but whatever. So anyway, the cards came in. There, there are a couple more, but then my friend has them. They, they were part of his order, so uh, you can see some of the cards here. Let me do this for you like this. So there we go, like a Kobe Bryant, uh, Panini Studio. This is a bronze proof. It comes in these nice little team bags. I thought that was pretty awesome. And the slaps just feel great, and they look pretty great. Like, looking, sorry about my finger now here, but when you're looking at this slab, it's, it's nice, man. Now, one thing that I want to say, and I think this is great, is on the slab, or on the details of the slab, I had put Panini Studios Proof Silver. But this is actually a bronze, and they corrected it without me even having to send a correction. So I am actually very happy about that. You know, it goes to show that they did a little bit of quality control on it. And by the way, this is a beautiful card, right? Like, that's just awesome. And it's a, I, I think I did card match, and that's why you get the gray splash instead of like a Lakers color, but it is what it is, beautiful card. I also had sent in this uh, LeBron James, and this is a gold proof, uh, numbered out of 49. And it's in the team bag as well. Nice little card, All right? And I sent two autos, but you know I don't have them here with me. And I sent in this LeBron James 2009 Tops Gold, right? Uh, eight on the edges, eight on the corners, nine surface, nine centering, 9.5 centering, and no complaints at all. This card, uh, its corners were a little busted, and the edges were certainly busted. So I felt like this grading was great. Like you look at, you see on the back side, there's all the whitening on the edges. So they did a good job. They did a wonderful job with grading cards. And I, I loved it. Like this is awesome. I love how it's in the bag. I love the way the slab feels. It's just great. Okay. Am I disappointed that it took so long? 100%. The one thing that really, really disappointed me about the process for this first order was not necessarily that it took 20 days. I mean, that was one thing. But what really, really ticked me off was this shipping charge. So, you know, if you are familiar with HGA, you've placed an order, you'll see something like this, right? You'll see your card grading total, your expected return shipping, and your return insurance. Um, you know, that is like, so if you put like you value a card at $1,000 versus a card at $10, your return insurance will be more expensive. So you see here the return total is $58, okay? That was the estimated return total for this order. That order did not cost $58. That order cost me $78.45. And the thing that just really takes me off is that HGA never even notified me of it. Not only did they not tell me beforehand, they just never told me, period. So, you know, it's when I'm looking at my credit card statement, that's when I find out that, hey, Ken, you didn't pay $58 for shipping. You added another $20. You paid $78 to ship those cards back to you. By the way, when we didn't give you any notification, nor did we give you any tracking of your package. We just, like, told you whatever. Find it. I think that's totally disappointing. It was, it's horrible. I had sent an email or well sent a message on facebook to uh you know the customer service and they said there's nothing they could do about it so i'm pretty disappointed about that experience especially you know you compound that with the 20 day shipping that it took instead of the 10 day and it's kind of uh it's a bummer right but whatever on to the next my next order is another 10 day order this one on the 10th day i actually got the tra tracking number uh right away and this package came to me in three days. And that's remarkably quick, considering I live on an island. So um, I was actually very pleased at how fast I got this next package in. Um, but you'll notice one thing is that they came like these. There are no team bags on them. Like if you notice our, the first order, the first order you get this nice little plastic bag that the card is in, which I thought is awesome. It's a great little feature. For the second one, no bag, just the case. So I don't, I don't know if they ran out of bags, you know, or if they just opted to no longer provide that service. I'm not really sure. Um, but here is the second order. It came in really quick, which was great because you know I don't have the same problems that I did with the first order. 
And uh, we'll just go through these cards really quickly because I want to point out a couple of features that kind of ticked me off here. So uh, here's a, uh, this is a Panini Studio James Harden rookie. Um, I, I really think this is an underrated uh, set. I love it. Like, here you go. This is the color splash. Sorry about my ugly nails here. But uh, this is a card match. Uh, pretty nice card. 9.5, 9.5, 9.0, 9.0. I guess that's averages up to a 9.0. I don't care. Whatever. That's fine. Not No complaints. Beautiful card. You got the Steph from the same set here. Steph Rookie. You know, this is uh, my heyday of collecting 2009. So here we go, Steph. Nine, 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 three nines and a nine point five. Cool, love it. Awesome. All right. Moving on to the next card. We have a. Uh... And you know what was cool about these is uh, before these cards arrived, they were already in the pop report on the website. So uh, you know, I, I think that's cool. I, it shows that these guys are, you know, looking to move things, and I, I like that. Really trying to update the system here so here's the James Harden this is just the tops paper um, you know 9.0 I believe this is a card match it's definitely not team match but uh, cool right and then this got uh, two nine fives and two nine zeros and I guess that means 9.0 that's fine great happy about all of those no complaints whatsoever and then we get to the little slash card now this is a Devin Booker, uh, Clear Vision, um, out of 25, rookie, right? Now this is a this is a nut and dope card, and this was a custom label, and then, so this is a purple custom label. You're about to see this awesome custom label. Boom. 8.5. Oh, sorry, let me wipe this off. We got some lint on the card here. I don't want you to think that that is a surface mistake. Um, I see some dust here. That is dust. Okay, so here we go. This is a 8.5. But look at that custom label. You paid 10 extra dollars for this feature, guys. 10 extra dollars for... What? That's wild. That is extremely disappointing. I am extremely disappointed with the slab. Um, you know, it looks, yeah, the like card is awesome, right? And obviously the slab is nice. I just wanted to get this card slabbed. But uh, you look at the grades here. Uh, that is the next thing that's just really crazy. Like corners are 10, sure. I don't even know if the corners are 10, to be honest. But whatever, cool. I like that. I'm not going to complain. Edges, 9, okay. Yeah, I can see that. Centering, 9.5. Yeah, it's, centering is pretty nice right here. But the surface, a 7.5? Like, on a fully colored acetate card? Like, I don't you know, maybe there's, I don't know, is, is there something there? No, that was just dust on the card. Like, dust on the uh, slab itself? I, I don't know. So, my theory for something like this, and this is where I'm concerned about, you know, the mix of AI and human grading, is that if you look at the top of the clear vision, you'll see that the C is cut off. But this is not actually a surface error. Error. This is actually how the card is. This is how the clear vision logo is. The C is cut. Like, look at any other clear vision card. That's just how they are. So I feel like, you know, they saw this and they were like, okay, yeah, there's, a, there's definitely a surface issue here. The logo's messed up. Deduct it. And then we got that 7.5 score. And this definitely doesn't deserve a 7.5. I'm not saying this card should have been a 10. Uh, I'm not even saying it should have been a 9.5. But it definitely should not have a 7.5 surface grade. Like, if you gave all the other cards higher surface grades, how on earth did you give this a 7.5? What error on this card would force you to deduct it as much as you did. It's crazy. It's a huge mistake to me. I'm disappointed. Uh, and I'm, I'm also disappointed with the <laughs> the lack of creativity in this custom slab. Like, you tell me. Like, I personally, I thought it would have been, like, all purple. You know, you got some, you know, lines that emulate the, the lines here that you see on the acetate. Um, any number of things. 
You know, maybe you put Kendall Jenner on the card. I don't know. Like, well, whatever. You don't just put, like, white smoke and call it a day, dog. Like, for $10? Get real. But, um, yeah, anyway, so that's my current experience with uh, HGA. I'm going to show you, uh, you know, something about the slabs that I think is actually pretty cool is that they all stack together. I don't know how many people know that, but that's kind of cool, right? Like, whatever. That's, that's pretty dope. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm at with the, these slabs. Like I said, my first experience, the shipping took forever. Um, I'm gonna, see, you know, I, I know Tyler had mentioned that he would, on on one of his recent posts, that he would honor, uh, not full on refunds, but you know, uh, some kind of uh, rebates or if you will for um, slabs that were not sent back within the allotted time period of the service level so you know that's great i think that's a great step towards the right direction but um you know it's the other thing with the slabs you know like this this quality control like some of this is uh is questionable but you know I, it's a new company i'm hoping they grow and i want to hear a lot about what you guys think about the uh your experiences with hga uh let me know like this is just mine uh my experience it, it wasn't absolutely horrible although you know there are definitely a ton of missteps uh, i did expect a lot better um but yeah i, I would love to hear with you guys uh, what you think do, do you think i'm being too um nitpicky about the time frame uh you know we're talking about over 15 business days that it was in their possession in the grading phase uh am i being nitpicky about my grading should i be am i acting like a whiny bitch by saying like Hey man, how can we grade it as 7.5? Um, I think if there's no clear cut mistake on the card, I think someone would have to verify what that was made. And if clearly that is a user a uh, error or an, a computer error, that's going to affect other clear vision cards in the in the future. So um, let me know. And thanks for watching the video.